and we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash griffin chestnut here on Richard's online YouTube channel, which of course is hence the title, titled Griffin Chestnut, uh, Richard's online YouTube alias. Um, today's book Richard has for us is A Beginner's Guide to Freshwater Life. Uh, this is a premium copy, a premium product deserve, packaged from the population of Panera Bread. Uh, this brings us a, um, a popular station, uh, which Richard is uh, infactually interested in um, when he began his hydroponics uh, system, which ultimately uh, flooded his basement in the year 2014. Uh, Richard is here with us again, and Richard is reviewing this piece for us. It is a micro piece, uh, miniature book um, that he uh, acclimated during his allocated break time when he used to work at the supermarket. Uh, Richard was a prime worker, a stock boy, a stocky, if uh, you will, and Richard uh, had large interest in the freshwater life. Um, so uh, this book was uh, given to him as a prized possession, which he uh, was able to contact through a private seller, which ultimately made this piece uh, very valuable. So Richard is here to review it, and uh, this is the piece as we take a look at it. Uh, right off the front, though, you can tell that there is some uh, brim wall. This is from the previous owner, this E. This is from uh, Ernie. Ernie was the man who was in charge of distributing this book to Richard's hands. Uh, Richard obtained this book, and this book was Ernie's as a child, so Ernie uh, had this book for some time before he ultimately led it astray to uh, Sir Richard himself. Uh, Richard was infatuated with this book, so uh, let's dig in and take a look at the piece. It is a small piece. Uh, take a look at your basic hand. This is your small piece with a dialectic uh, crimson, crimson chin, so we turn it around. So. The dimensions from top to bottom, left to right, coordination by coordination, and shrink to shrink, you can tell, really do fit in well with a piece like this. So this is your beginner's guide to fresh water life. And uh, we have the E up here, which is a non-part of this piece. Now, it is a short piece. It's it's pretty small. So we take a look at the brim wall on the side. Since it's fairly old, there is some crimson brim wall where you can see it's diluting from frame to frame. Uh, the cream is fairly well on the side, from both sides. Uh, even this cream with that cream, small cream, 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 and cream, cream. Even this cream over here. Now if you look closely, this is really starting to uh, bring it out. The, uh, the tear and share of this, the quality is just deteriorating over time. And of course the back. Um, there is a nice nipple to nipple ratio and a good cream to cream ratio, okay? In the back we have the uh, author, uh, Hossman, um, Putnam, Putnam Hossman, uh, Beginner's Guide to Freshwater Life. So uh, this is a, um, a premium product, a prized possession, uh, a field manual, if you will that Richard was able to obtain from a private contractor, uh, which uh, he was uh, able to get on the phone with while watching his one of his favorite animes, Rama One and a Half, um, a uh, Japanese folk story about a exchange student who has the uh, gifted ability to change sex from male to female once being splashed with cold or hot water. Uh, this is similar to his own father's deal, as his father has the ability to change from old man to panda, giant panda, with the splash of cold or hot water. Now if we take a look inside this piece, uh, there is some oldage stainage. This is a wear and tear from the previous owner. This is from your man E, who uh, apparently did this to the piece, and uh, it's not appreciated here. So. Here we go, Beginner's Guide to Freshwater Life. This book was written back in the day uh, before Richard's time, so he was uh, eager to uh, understand its uh, type of language that can be fulfilled through the uh, notion of uh, studying different types of derelictic animals in the freshwater school. 
Harley Avenue School. Uh, apparently is where this book originated from. And it's an introduction piece to the minor uh, anthropology of globalization. And we have some diagrams of some freshwater species. You have your mutton crab, your TD salamander, your avocado, your tuna fried spinach, and your Samsung TV. These are just fantastic pieces which you really cannot get enough of. Here's some more crustaceans. Uh, your coelacanth, your arowana, your red sprinter, and your red snapper. All crustaceans from the Adirondacks which you can find developing through and through with this continuity of abrupt abrushness where you can turn the brush and it doesn't even flip all the way. So, you continue with that. These are flatworms. Richard is a fan of them. Uh, cutworms, brimworms, softworms, jellyworms, uh, pretty much all the worms you could think of. And of course your turtles. Uh, Richard is a fan of turtles, just as he is a fan of worms. And um, this goes into all the species that you may find along a, a hiking trail. Uh, here are your cold water fish, fresh water fish, and uh, spontaneous blue water fish. Okay, your common sunfish, uh, your black bass, your sea bass, uh, your acrylic nations, your uh, cicadians, your mouth hides, your blue waters, your scoldies, your flapjacks, and your spinners. Okay, and even your conch shells. So, this book goes really into detail about, uh, and it even has an index, which is a fictionalized version of the uh, events and story uh, told. In the, in the piece itself. Uh, on the back, unfortunately, there is some more brim wall. This is just wear and tear of old age. Um, if we get a close-up look at this, uh, this looks like something out of the movie uh, Annihilation, starring Natalie Portman, by, um, directed by Alex Garland, who uh, ultimately wrote the book, The Beach, um, before it was made into a uh, motion picture film starring Leonardo DiCaprio, um, directed by Daniel Boyleface. So, uh, that is it with the Beginner's Guide to Freshwater Life. Uh, Richard is an enthusiast with the marine life. He studied marine biology for a good quarter of his life, so he has an cryptic knowledge of the fact. And uh, it's important to understand what's at stake when we're understanding what goes through Richard's mind when he tries to obtain his products through a past and premier substantial way. This is Richard Reviews with two thumbs up for Freshwater Life, a beginner's guide to freshwater life. Richard Reviews.